friends, thanks for tuning in today. We've been learning all about the armor of God. We've learned about the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, and today we're going to learn about the shoes of peace. Now we're talking about battling in a fight, so it might be a little bit confusing that we're fighting with peace, right? But you have to remember that we're battling in God's fight, which doesn't use violence. Instead, we fight evil with peace. Let's get our friend Sir Louis Von Philip in here to help us today. Good morning, Sir Louis. Are you doing well today? Yes, sir. That's great to hear. Well, today we're learning about the shoes of peace. So I have a beautiful pair just for you. Isn't that exciting? Yes, sir. All right, here you go. We can use the shoes of peace as a reminder that our fight is unlike any other fight. We're fighting against evil. And the way we do that is by using good things like truth, righteousness, and peace. Let's ask God today to help us to remember to be peaceful in our fight. So take your right hand and your left hand and snap them together and let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you so much for this morning and for teaching us all about peace. Sometimes we don't know how to fight in a battle, but you are there to remind us to use good things like truth, righteousness, and peace. Lord, help us remember that every single day. In your name, amen. All right, before we dig in, we have Hanley with our memory verse. Hello friends, do you remember our memory verse? It's Ephesians 6, 13a. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you can resist the enemy in a time of evil. Let's do it with actions. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you can resist the enemy in a time of evil. Now we're going to learn from the Bible about the different approaches of fighting evil. In this story, found in Luke 22, verses 47 to 53, a friend of Jesus named Peter uses violence in a fight, but then Jesus shows him the way of peace. Let's see what happens. Your will be done, God, not mine. Hmm, I wonder what the others are doing. be arrested and killed and you're here sleeping? Oh. Oh, come on, quickly, I hear them, they're coming. What should we do? Well, maybe we could run away and hide? Or maybe we can fight them. What do you think we should do? That's him. You're coming with me. Did you see how Peter chose violence, but Jesus chose peace and ended the fight? Peter thought this was a battle against flesh and blood. He thought it was a battle against the people who came to arrest Jesus. But Jesus knew that it was a battle against evil and that we fight evil with peace, not with swords. When Jesus came face to face with an armed soldier, Jesus was wearing his own armor, the shoes of peace. It must have been really hard for him to walk forward and heal the ear of his enemy, but he was wearing the shoes of peace every step of the way. In Ephesians 6.15, it says, For shoes, wear on your feet what will prepare you to tell the good news of peace. Our peace comes from the good news about Jesus. What do you think that means? Pause the video now and talk about it with your family. Our peace comes from knowing and sharing the love of Jesus with others. In our lives, that might look like sharing Jesus' love with someone who's being bullied at school or responding with kindness if someone's being mean to you. 
These things can be really difficult to do sometimes. So the shoes of peace remind us that it's God's peace that helps us in that and nothing stronger than that. This week, I hope you can use peace in difficult situations. Don't forget to check out the links below for more activities. I'll see you next week, friends.